calorie counts or portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between Chipotle in the UK and the US. This is Food Wars. This is a UK chicken burrito. We've also got some black beans, some white rice, some lettuce, cheese, sour cream, guac as well inside. We're gonna measure the length, the... I don't wanna say girth. You're gonna have to say girth, I'm gonna... Oh, man. There's gonna be a lot of girth in this episode. Face. We're going to measure the length, the girth, and the weight of this burrito. So our burrito is seven inches long. I have the same burrito Harry has right here. Well, not the same one, the same order. I don't know where the burrito ends and the tinfoil begins, so I'm kind of eyeballing it. Looks to be about uh, between seven and a quarter and seven and a half inches. A girth of ten inches. It has a girth of... <laughs> I promise I'm a professional. It's circumference. Girth, really? Going all the way around. Almost exactly 10 inches. Burrito is a 10 if you're uh, thinking about uh, making it a tux. And finally, it weighs more than the skin. <laughs> this isn't even the big boy. Hey, told you guys to get a new scale. We got a new scale. Bear with us. So we're going to weigh this burrito half at a time to see what the taste is. Half one, three ten, and this one. That's what I'll get. Well, I'll get the scraps from the plate. So combined, the two halves of our burrito weighed 597 grams. Chipotle's burrito order weighed, man, that's hefty. That is a hefty boy. In the UK, we can also get our burritos in bowl form. This bowl contains the same ingredients as our burrito, but obviously without the tortilla wrap. Let's weigh it and see what it measures up to. So this one came out to pretty much exactly 500 grams, which even with the bowl factored in is like 100 grams less than the burrito. So this here is that same burrito ingredients in bowl form. Whoa, <laughs> gonna have to go this way. Oh, wow, I'm really smart. Wait, is it heavier? Wow, so correct me if I'm wrong, but there's more here than there was in the burrito. Finally, we can get our meals in the form of a salad. Now this has all the same ingredients as our bowl, but without the rice. Let's weigh it and see how much difference that makes. Strangely enough, this came to pretty much exactly 500 grams, the same as the burrito bowl. And here is the salad version of that bowl, which was the bowl version of that burrito. Sticking with me so far? Being weighed. I do want to point out this does have white rice on it. I mean, salad is boring and disgusting. I would never get one. In the UK, you can only get one size of chips on the side, and that's roughly this many. Some of these are a little bit fractured, so I will just try and form whole chips where I can. I'm like the Banksy of tortilla chips. Banksy, you've done it again. 29, 30, and a half. At a US Chipotle, you have two sizes of chips. The regular and the large. Regular chips first. It's gonna take forever. All right. One. Regular bag is roughly 41 chips. Now let's count the large. Yes. 75, 76, nearly double for the large bag of chips at Chipotle. Very nice. In the UK, we can only get one size of guac on the side. It's supposed to be four ounces. We're gonna measure it to check if that's the case. Ours was just shy of four ounces, so pretty much right. The guac in the US, of course, comes in two sizes as well. And I'm gonna weigh them just to make sure, just to keep them honest. I don't know how much the measuring cup is, so it should be over four ounces, if anything. 3.75, <clears throat> that's including the cup, which, correct me if I'm wrong, you do not eat. Skimping on the guac. Don't act like 0.25 ounces isn't that much. If it's not that much, then put it in there. Eight o zers. It's a little over seven. Zoom in on that. I want to shame these people. Shame on you, Chipotle. You're already charging us extra for it, and you're also just not giving us as much as we pay for. Tisk, tisk. And finally, we have tacos. Oh hell yeah! When we looked at the menu, they were only available in a portion size of three. In the UK, this taco is six inches in length. We got a veggie taco, which includes guac, salsa, sour cream, 
cheese, fajita vegetables, and black beans. And ours weighs. At a US Chipotle, you can get tacos in orders of one, two, or three. This guy's falling apart. It's a six incher. And of course, I did not get a vegetarian taco. This one has meats aplenty. So it has different ingredients than the one that they weighed, making this weighing completely arbitrary. Now this is the biggest burrito you can get at a UK Chipotle. We chose chicken as the base, but then we added every other meat as an add-on, and we've also got all the vegetables and all the sauces. They were a bit reluctant to make this, but eventually they got it done, and it seems to not be leaking, so good job, guys. This right here is the biggest burrito you can get at a Chipotle in the US. So big, in fact, I named it The Big Boy. Got that? Fantastic. Okay, what's in it, you ask? Well, it's a carnitas burrito with double carnitas, and I also got double barbacoa. Of course it's double wrapped because it has guacamole, white rice, fajita veggies, black beans, queso blanco, uh, mild tomato, I actually got all the salsas, uh, sour cream, cheese, and lettuce. This runs about $18.20 in the US, which is about 13 pounds and 16 shillings. This burrito sent me back 16 pounds 75, which is around $22, which is quite expensive. You're looking at kind of two pounds 70 per meat you add in. So honestly, if you're looking for just quantity for lunch, it's probably cheaper to just get two single burritos. Now it's the same length as the other burrito coming in at seven inches, but you do get one extra inch of girth. And as we all know, a little girth, <laughs> as we all know, <laughs> the extra girth goes along. <laughs> now I will measure the length and uh, thickness of this one. Almost nine inches. Okay, it's about eight and three fourths. Yo, this guy's a lot thicker. So that's about 11 and a half inches of thickness. It's much bigger. What about the calories? Well, this is the most popular burrito from Chipotle. It contains eight ingredients. Chicken, white rice, black beans, sour cream, guacamole, cheese, fresh tomato salsa, and lettuce. This contains 1,320 calories, 540 of which are from fat. It does contain 2,610 milligrams of sodium, which is 113% of your daily allowance. And in the US, that same burrito, according to Chipotle, is the exact same nutrition and calorie count. They use the same smallwares and utensils to make the burritos in the UK as they do in the US, so everything should technically be the same. That's what their PR people told us, and hey, if you can't trust uh, major conglomerates PR people, who can you trust, right? And if you got that same order in salad form and didn't put rice on your salad like a maniac, that would bring this calorie count down to about 800, and it lowers the sodium to only 1,520 milligrams, or 66% of what you should have in the day. Chipotle also gives you the option of having their vinaigrette salad dressing on the side, which adds 220 calories, bumping it back up over 1,000 to 1,020 calories, and bumping up the sodium to 2,327 milligrams, or 101% of your daily, basically it's liquid salt. It's what the, geez. If you choose to get your burrito in a bowl form, that loses you 320 calories, bringing it down to an even 1,000. Now it's only around 40% of your daily caloric allowance. It still contains 1,855 milligrams of sodium, however. In the UK, a side of chips is 540 calories. Same with our regular chips here. Now if you upgrade to the large, that's going to be 810 calories, if you were to enjoy these with a side of guac, that's an extra 230 calories. Now, if you wanted to upgrade to the large guac, that's gonna be an additional 460 calories. Now, Chipotle as a brand prides himself on being quite a healthy option and not using too many artificial ingredients. In the US, they actually make a big deal of only needing 53 ingredients across the entire menu. However, in the UK, when we totaled up all of the ingredients, we found 67. So as you all know, if you watch Food Wars, that's kind of unusual that there's more things in the US than in the UK. The only ingredient in the US Chipotle that gave me a bit of pause was something called gypsum. Gypsum is also known as calcium sulfate hydrate, right? Okay, and Chipotle uses that in their tofu process when they separate the chunks from the liquid. Gypsum is also found in drywall, chalk, and shampoo. Of course it is. Now, does the gypsum stay in the tofu or is it just used for the separating purposes? I don't care. I'm never getting tofu from Chipotle. Put the beast back in front of me. Let's look at some ingredients for the flour tortillas. In the UK, the tortillas contain fortified wheat flour, which is wheat flour, calcium carbonate, iron, niacin, thiamine, water, 
vegetable oils, palm oil, rapeseed oil, wholemeal flour, salt, and raising agents, sodium carbonates, diphosphates, and malic acid. In the US, our flour tortilla only has four ingredients, wheat flour, water, canola oil, and salt. That's it. Huh. Now I know how Joe feels when we film pretty much all of these episodes, because it's not very nice to have that many things in your food, knowing that the other side doesn't. Like, why do we need it, but they don't? It's weird. Now, given the fact that we have way more ingredients in the UK than in the US, it does beg the question as to why the calorie count for the tortillas is the same. We did reach out to Chipotle for an explanation, but unfortunately at the time of recording, they hadn't got back to us. Besides the tortillas, a lot of the other fillings in Chipotle have pretty similar ingredients lists in the UK and the US, maybe with some minor differences in the spices used. For example, the chicken in the UK is flavored with chicken, water, chile de arbol and jalapeno, cumin, garlic, oregano, black pepper, sea salt, and sunflower oil. Whereas our chicken is chicken, obviously, water, chipotle chili, cumin, garlic, oregano, black pepper, salt, distilled vinegar, and sunflower oil. All words I can pronounce, huzzah! Our guacamole is pretty simple. It only has six ingredients. Avocado, red onion, jalapeno, citrus juice, sea salt flakes, and coriander, which is what we call cilantro, and we're definitely right. US guac is very similar. Avocado, cilantro, or coriander, whatever it's called. Uh, jalapenos, lemon juice, lime juice, onions, and salt. A serving of white rice in the UK is made of long grain white rice, bay leaf, sunflower oil, coriander, citrus juice, and sea salt flakes. And our white rice in the US contains white rice, bay leaf, cilantro, lemon juice, lime juice, rice, bran, oil, salt, and water. Finally, our Monterey Jack cheese contains milk, starter cheese culture, sea salt flakes, and enzymes. I don't know which enzymes, just enzymes the concept of enzymes. Whereas our cheese contains cheese curds, nope, cheese cultures, milk, salt, and vegetable rennet. Rennet? Rennet. I don't know what that is. Here is everything you will only find on the menu at a UK Chipotle. And these are all the US exclusive items at Chipotle. Now we only have one exclusive food item on the menu in the UK, and that is the protein pump bowl. It contains rice, a double order of chicken, some lettuce, some salsa, and some cheese. This first one right here is the Whole30 bowl for those of you on the Whole30 diet. In the middle, cheat sheet number two, this is the Paleo bowl. And that is a chicken salad with guacamole, uh, lettuce, fajita veggies, chicken, and the medium green salsa. And the last bowl over here is the protein pump bowl. It's got all that stuff in it. This right here is Chipotle's queso cheese not available in the UK. What is the story with this? They figured out a way to make natural melted cheese, and I gotta tell you, this stuff is really good. Yeah, oh man, like their queso is trouble. I love that stuff, it's really good. A protein that you can get in the US is carne asada, you can get that instead of the steak, and cauliflower rice. Now, there was no cauliflower rice available at the Chipotle we went to for this video, but besides that, I went ahead and made a US only Chipotle taco. It's just a queso and carne asada taco. I figured a burrito of just carne asada and queso is a little ridiculous. This is like what I would have gotten when I was in the seventh grade as a kid, just like melted cheese and meat and nothing else. So here we go. Yeah. And then I love the queso, it's incredible. Carne asada is really good. Chipotle also has a children's menu. You can get two tacos or quesadillas. I was surprised to learn with the tacos, for the kid's meal, you get one meat and two toppings. Now, yes, kids are piggy eaters, but only two toppings, mom and dad? Only two? Also comes with your choice of chocolate milk or apple juice. What we lack in exclusive food options and in fountain drink, we really make up for in cans and bottles of drink. So we'll start with these things over here, which are Tenzing brand natural energy drinks. It's kind of like when you want a Red Bull slash coffee, but you don't want the guilt associated with it. Then we have this very fancily named Fentimans, which is kind of like a sparkling water flavored with elderflower. Personally, not a huge fan of elderflower, but some people are, and that's okay. Next, we have this turmeric and mango nourish from Humble Warrior. Next up, we've got these cans of Dash water, which I think they're just water that's kind of lightly flavored again. We have orange juice, we have berry set go, 
and we have Wondergreen if you want something nice and healthy. Chipotle's kind of gone for a fancier vibe with these by the looks of things. These are all kind of the fancier brands. At the end of the day, they are kind of just sodas, but they're ones that are just a bit more upmarket than you might normally find. A personal highlight is that Chipotle in the UK sells San Pellegrino. I don't know if you guys have this in the US, but it's basically like a brand of sparkling fruit juices. Uh, I really love their lemonade. It's like really tangy and acidic. And then finally, if you want to, you can finish off your meal with a beer. So it looks like the ones over there in the UK are pretty much different than the ones we have in the US. And this is not even all of them. They have the Nantucket Nectars, which I believe is juice. I see these are Is, Izzy. You guys had the cans of the San Pellegrino water. We just have the bottle of the plain, which I actually prefer. Yo, organic black tea. And right here, the best one, Mexican Coke. It really sucks that America is so obsessed with high fructose corn syrup because our I think is similar to Mexican Coke and just made with regular sugar. Would you like a tortilla chip? Having been loosely fondled by me. Yeah.